there, this is Jennifer with Rome Fields, and today we are going to learn the wasp's nest. It is similar to the basket weave that we did a couple days ago, which I would have called like a cross stitch. So this one here, you want to cast on in multiples of four. I have 12 uh, stitches on my swatch. And for my row one, I went ahead and did a knit one, purl one, and then I went ahead and started with row one so I'd have this as my front versus all the purl stitches for my front. All right, let me get some more slack here. All right, so row one, we're going to do a cross to right knit, which means we're going to go into the front of the second stitch. We're going to knit that second stitch first without slipping that first stitch off. And now we're going to knit the first stitch. And then we'll slide both of them off. Now we're going to do a cross to left knit stitch. So we're going to knit into the back of the second stitch and the back of the first stitch and then we'll slip it off. So we're going to do those two stitches and repeat. So now we're going to go into the front, which is the right knit, and then we're going to go into the back, the second stitch, and then the first stitch, and slide it off, and then the front, the second and then the front of the first and then without sliding those off we're going to go into the back of the second and then the first and slide it off and then we're going to purl so the purl sides we're just going to purl all the stitches on the back And then there should always be 12 or whatever, however many you start with, there should be that many stitches. All right, then we're going to do the opposite on row three. So on row one, we did cross to right and then cross to left. This time we're going to cross to left and then cross to right. So that they're opposites. So we went, we're going to go into the back of the second stitch. So this is a pretty easy pattern to remember. Slip those off, and now we're going to go into the front. So it's a little tight. Go into the back. Oops. And this stitch, I would say, these crossover stitches, they're pretty good workout on the hands. I use a lot of my fingers. And I hold my yarn pretty tight so that it doesn't slide off my needle. So maybe switching to um, wood needles would be better. So let's just go into the back and then the front. All right, and then the next row is a purl row and that ends the set. There's just four rows for the set. Okay, let's see how all this comes together. Oops. That's loud. So you kind of have it going back and forth. 
has a very, it's a very, very squishy. Um, adds a lot of texture. It's stretchy. I'm not sure this is one of my favorite stitches. It's interesting. It has a lot of texture. Maybe it would look better with a thinner yarn. But I'm saying this is probably not one of my favorite ones. However, I do like that texture. So this was a wasp's nest with uh, crossover stitches, alternating rows. So I hope you guys enjoyed that for today, and I will see you guys hopefully again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.